I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of the NJ Project, episode 86. This week at DJ Projects is something a little bit different. I disappear for two days down Plymouth. Stevie does some interesting fencing jobs. Not just one, but two. Take you along for some grabs. We get the sunny out and we take you to a job we've already done before. Good morning. It is a Monday morning and I've got a treat for you. It is half past four in the morning. I go up four o'clock this morning. I'm in Mighty White and we are going to Plymouth. The reason I've got up earlier, I want to miss a lot of the traffic. Plymouth, it's four and a half hours in a car. I believe it's going to take us six and a half in the lorry with brakes and everything else. But if we hit traffic, even longer. So yeah, let me get my vehicle checks done, get out of the yard, diesel up and get on our way. So we're fueled up now, we've got a full tank of fuel. Ad blue is good. We're ready to go. So yeah, I bought a truck sat now because like I say, it's a long way away. I've never been that way before and it's handy to have one anyway. So yeah, let's hit the road. So we're on our first break. We are about half an hour away. So I managed to get half an hour away from Plymouth on four and a half hours of driving. So yeah, first break. I've got my porridge. I've warmed it up on a dash. Look at that, it's, re it's nice and warm. It spat at me. It's nice and warm now. So I'm gonna have my porridge. I'm gonna ring GNS signs to find out where their location is, whereabouts they are. Yeah, but this is my 45 minute break. So, when we've had this break, we'll catch up. So that's it, we're done with our break. Put we'll seat back. Yeah, I've done, done 50 minutes, I guess five minutes. The lads aren't gonna be here for another hour or so anyway. So let's uh, get to site. I think I'm here. We are taking a totem pole down like that. I might just go on my emails. I think it is that Peugeot one we're taking down as well. Just have a look on my emails. Oh, I'm definitely here. We're taking, I believe, that totem pole down there. And there's Blake coming up to me now. So there it is. That's what we are removing. We're just moving the cars now out of the way. I'm still waiting for the boys to get here. Cherry pickers on its way. Yeah, that's going to be the first one we get rid of. So the boys have turned up. We took that section off there and that, that exposes the bolts down the side. So the idea is now we take the panelling off. So what I've done, I've grabbed the panelling. He's going to go up on the ladder because the cherry picker hasn't turned up. He's going to go up on the ladder with his harness on. He's going to undo them screws there and then we'll lift them panels down. So we have it, what we're going to do, put the straps on, we'll lift it up and all we do, we unbolt them at the bottom then all I'll do, I'll lift it up, we'll pull it out, lay it down and cut it up. And he's just got them over, spot on. So all we've done, we've cut them like that. And we're just lifting them on now. I'll try and get you on, a, I've got to take that one out down there. I'll try and get you on a time lapse when we do that one. So hello guys. And welcome back to another video. It is... Uh, what is it? It's Monday. Apparently it's Blue Monday. Apparently people aren't feeling too great on this day. Well, if you're not feeling too great and you need a chat, the d &J boys are always here. Drop something down in the comments. We'll be sure to reply to you guys because we want all of our subscribers feeling well, feeling positive. And remember guys, if you're feeling bad now, nah, it can only get better. It can only get better, guys. And we'll do whatever we can with the entertaining videos that we're trying to put out. We're going to make sure this one's another hour for you. Everyone was happy that it was an hour last week. We're going to make sure this one's an hour this week. Yes. If so, what my dad's been doing, he's driving down to Plymouth. I spoke to him, what, half an hour ago. He was probably two hours into his journey. He said he'd ring up on his break. But yeah, he's down to Plymouth. Hopefully, well, you've already saw what he's doing, I would assume, by now. I'm not going to see these clips for a few days, so I haven't got a clue right now. But yeah, you've already saw them. I'm not sure if he's asked you, but if you could like this video, we'd very much appreciate it. Let's aim for a big one today, 5,000 likes. I don't know if Dad's like, actually, I don't know if Dad's already asked for a like goal. But make sure you subscribe as well, guys. Click that notification bell, press that big red button. We'd very much appreciate it. Thank you for everyone going over to Valley Turf and Topsoil, subscribing to his channel, letting him know that you're going to be watching his videos. 
I don't know why that link wouldn't work. I couldn't even change it. For some reason, it was being daft. So, again, if you could just search Valley Turf and Topsoil on the search bar, I'd very much appreciate it. As is back, how was your first week at the gym, mate? Oh, I'm, I'm flexing all right now. Yeah? But, yeah, it could kill me off. Yeah, he was aching for first week. That's always the same, guys. When you're getting back into something, obviously it's January, new year, new me, right? When, you get, when you're jumping into the gym, it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough, it's going to ache a little bit, but it will only get better. The more you do something, the more you get used to it. Progressive overload, doesn't matter if you're starting with 2.5 kilograms, don't matter if you're starting with 20, 30, 40. As long as you're progressively overloading all the time, you are good to go at the gym, guys. 2.5, yes. It's, it's... 2.5 is every unit, mate. Don't be ashamed. Yes, don't be ashamed. Your workout's too easy for you. Get your form spot on, control the weight, sort of uh, time under tension, and you are good to go with a lighter weight and less chance of getting injured that way as well. But it's a fencing job. Nice, nice little fencing job. After those mammoth of fencing jobs that we did last week, got a lot of support on the video, so thank you for that. We absolutely smashed it out of the park. I was so proud of the lads. I kept telling them, look, lads, you've smashed it. I'm so proud of you. So, Nice easy one to start the week, so let's go grab a drink, get there. Oh, let me show you these. It was either on Sundays or Mondays, uh, Sundays or Wednesdays video. We're showing you these. Dad couldn't resist. He's welded them back up. So, can't even see where it was. Yeah, I can't even see where it was, but deal. Crazy. But uh, up there, look. Yeah, looks good. These were curled over as well, so he's curled them back. Obviously put a bit of weld on there. They feel quite strong. That bit will probably fall off there, but... We're gonna test them today. We've got the other pair, just in case, and we have got some on order. So, if worst case scenario, we've got some new ones coming. Just gonna strap these panels, get a coffee, and get to the job. We're here. So, this fence is coming down. The fence, finding middle ground. You can see the seal in the house. Run it down, run it across. New gate here. Customers doing this because she don't drive, or I'm not sure if she does drive or she just doesn't park here. And she, this, is, this is where she gets the sun. So, plan is extend. This is customer's land. Let's make the most of this. Some people have already done it. You can see how these fences there. It looks like these have done it as well already. Do you mind, sir? So, we're going to fence down there, fence across. First thing we're going to do is take that down and the gate down because that, let's just have a show them. Let's show them, hasn't it? It's got a bit of a wobble, a bit of a wobble, this one. It looks strong, it looks solid, but it's not solid. What we're gonna do as well, this is sort of boundary. We're actually gonna put the post inside so there is no boundary walls, and we'll run that down and across. So yeah, let's get it done, guys. Ready, mate? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Woo! This is what we've got to do guys, got to get that big root off and then we think she'll come out. You wouldn't believe that is a panel would you? You would not believe that right there is a panel. It's heavy though, well, it it's heavy. heavy. Also, has not he's had a bit of an unfortunate start to the day, haven't you, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's had an unfortunate start <laughs> to the day. On the, on the raw footage. Yes. The lady had, uh, what was it? It's bird a bird feeder. table, yeah. Bird table feeder. Yeah, uh, it went down the back of my bum. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the, uh, he's, got birds, he's got bird seeds down near the water. <laughs> so, uh, yes. No, right. Bit of concrete here, I think it's just from the slab. We're gonna need to take that out. We've got to dig a hole right there to run up there because we're gonna start here to there. First hard bit of concrete, put this copra back in, or retainer, or 
edging, edging stone. First bit of concrete, gonna make sure we're nice and close to this, but make sure this still stays nice and secure. Of course, when our concrete goes over there, all the concrete forms together. I've told you that before, guys. But we're gonna get this out now. A lot of concrete for one post, but we got her, because we cannot be defeated at D&J. Customers made us a nice tea, so we'll have this, and we'll crack on. Got a string line set up. We're just making sure we're happy with it. Customer's gonna have a final decision. Again, no bind draws. You can see where the old post was. We've gone to the post there. We've gone a little bit higher as all guys. Some of you may be asking. It's because we want it taller. We can see over that fence and the customer doesn't want that. We want a bit more privacy for this customer. Maybe drives their focus. A Ford Focus. So what we're doing, we're setting up this string line. You can see the middle of the house, the binder. We've eyeballed it from there. It looks pretty, pretty good to be honest. It looks like we're actually in slightly into the customer's garden. We just need to make sure a car fits down here. So I'm going to give customer the option. Oh, it's bigger than it has the car park bay, isn't it? That's it. Massively different. Mass it's, it's quite big on camera. Um, it's not looking on camera. It's actually quite big. Customer may even say, just move across a bit. So we're happy with that line. We're going to get her out and we'll let you know the outcome. That's where we were going. We moved a harsh brick across. Customers agreed to a harsh brick across to save aggro in the future if we're ever going to get any. We will go in there. You can see it's a big angle there off, but the customer just wants no aggro, no fuss later on the line. So let's move over and let's just crack on. So you may have noticed guys, we did have the panel the opposite way because customer was going to have a good side facing in. But she's decided now nah, we're going to have the rails running like that and it'll match the gate anyway, rails running across again. Yeah, we're just digging this hole, going to our line remember. Cut a nice square in here, it's more of a rectangle now. Got a lot of hardcore out of this one. But of course we're going to fill it in, we're going to put the post in, put some hardcore back in. And then I believe we've got tarmac jobs coming up, what we'll do, we'll patch tarmac around the post. So it's nice and neat, more so for the neighbour because this is all going to be changed, I believe. So don't worry about this side. We've just got to make it right for the neighbour. And we'll get this post in with Asni's magic fingers. Hopefully it won't, it won't uh, put us in the back. <laughs> Very happy with that. Let's keep going. So I almost had a bad moment there, guys. But it's panel time anyway. Not too shabby. This bay is going to be obviously a little bit smaller. It's going to be a corner post. Where's it going to be? It's going to be right here somewhere, here, guys. Running sort of there. This one is there. So let's get it. Let's get a hole somewhere around here. Oh, baby. That is one big hole. It's actually snowing as well. Can you see it on the camera, guys? It's actually snowing. Customers not only brought a tea art, they brought the breaking sarnies out, mate. What we got in here then? Bacon and bran. Bacon, bran and butter. Oh my God, looking after us too well. Thank you to every single customer that always looks after us. You're just the best. You're the best customers anyone could ever, ever ask for. If we did YouTube or did not do YouTube, we've always had the best customers. You guys rock. be a bit warm on that roof seeing as it was snowing we thought right let's get this in before it proper comes down it sort of slowed down but yeah i love this game need a gravel board in there just putting some nails in the panel we've just customized and i'm going to slide it in there guys 
52 inches this one so uh, what's that just under five foot five foot is 60 inches so not far off four foot i guess Again, as always, guys, when you're sliding in, little adjustments may be needed. Look what I'm on to. Oh, baby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So there we go, guys. There's going to be... Well, there's a water butt there. <laughs> well, there's going to be a piece of timber on here, a 4 by 2 piece of timber, concrete post somewhere around about here, piece of timber running across, uh, and then a panel, and then a panel, I believe, guys. I can't see where the ground is. It's relatively level. It's hard to tell. It looks like it might run down the hill slightly there. So we might actually be best. Oh, my God, I've stood in that as well now. We might actually be best starting from here and running down as we would normally do. We can't tell people to start at the top of the hill and then ourselves start at the bottom of the hill. Probably hypocritical. So we're gonna start at the top and then it gives me a chance actually anyway, for me and Adam to get this concrete posted and then get that timber attached so Jamie can make the gate so we've actually got it for tomorrow, guys. Thinking ahead as always. That's what you always wanna do when you're working. Don't just think of the job that you're on now. Just have in the back of your mind a few steps ahead. A little bit lighter than you're playing snooker. Two or three shots ahead all the time. Yes. It's not helping me out though because I'm not the best at it, but I'm addicted and I love it. Let me know if you like snooker down below. Is anyone watching the Masters? I'm interested. But yeah, we're going to measure across roughly three foot, dig our hole, get our posting, get our timber attached, and send that to Jamie. No, mate. That's what we're working with, guys. Customers decided to have good side facing out for the curb appeal. Also, this fencing will come down. Timber there, timber there. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. So there we go then, guys. There was that little panel there that we said was putting back. It was this one. We had an off-cut off free from our panel. So decided to put a new one in there. Obviously, timber's on here. This needs to come down as well. But the uh, most important thing is these timbers right now because we can spend half an hour tomorrow on that. We need to get these timbers in so Jamie can make this gate. So let's get them on now and we'll tell you the gap. So van's pretty much loaded. I'm going to strap that down. Fencing's pretty much complete. This stuff is down, but whoever put these bad boys in, they put them in to last. They weren't messing around with these. We're going to get breaker on that. We're going to scrape some of this stone. I think it's Cotswold buff. We're going to scrape, scrape that. Speak English, please. We're going to scrape it away. We might even snap that one off at the ground. I'm not decided yet, but probably have to dig that one out and this one out. Probably put some topsoil there for this customer. The plan's to sort this out anyway, but we can bring some topsoil tomorrow in the wheelbarrow and fill these holes in. But yeah, busy, busy, busy. She's done. And we're happy. Let's have a look from neighbour's side. Definitely getting caught in there. More than happy with this one. You happy, mate? Happy? Yeah. Happy as Lara. All right, head back to the yard. Catch up with you in the morning. I think you'll watch Dad's clips first. So yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. Like Stevie said, it is a fresh one this morning. Really, really cold. The wagon was left on site last night, nice and safe and secure. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to move it down to the other totem pole, but well, this is how we leave it. So we call them totem poles, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, it's just left like that, we just take it out, that's all we've been asked to do. Bolts are still there, so if you do want to put another one on top, they can do. But I've got to take the wagon down there now and set it up. Yeah, it's cold down here, really, really cold. So let's get his wagon shifted. Can I follow you back to your room? Watching you bloom in the light of the moon. Can I follow you back to your arms? Wash it all off in the river of your hand. So we're just getting cars shifted now. I mean this all should have been done yesterday. There's no organization really at this place. Have you ever heard the expression, too many chiefs and not enough Indians? I don't know where that expression comes from, but this is what's happening here. It basically means too many gaffers and not enough staff or not enough workers. So here we go, just have to move off the, uh, the road. Don't block the road. 
Yeah, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. The expression, I don't know where it comes from, but it's like too many gaffers or too many cooks spoil the broth. Same expression. It means too many gaffers getting involved instead of one person sorting it out. I mean, they knew yesterday we need to take the other totem pole down. So really should have shifted these cars and got them shifted now. They're scrambling around looking for keys. On the front of shop as well, no one's told anyone, but we're doing the front of the shop, taking the front of the shop down, or the front of the building, the sign we're off there. So now everyone's scrambling around. Oh, where am I going to park? Where am I going to park? I haven't been told about this. This job was sorted out three months ago. They wanted it done before Christmas. And because they couldn't sort it out, we're doing it now. So they've known about this job for weeks. So they could have really put stuff in place. Now, the time, it must be about nine o'clock by now. I can't none of my things on so yeah it must be about nine o'clock by now really we've been on site since half past seven so an hour and a half just messing about which i could have had that signed down by now hey ho it's sorted now less moaning let's get the job done and let's take you guys along for the ride let's do it so this is all coming off so the boys are this is the main man from gns signs go and give him a like and a follow he hasn't got a YouTube channel, but he's got Instagram. Those but no, man. I don't like height, but only where I feel safe, and I feel safe with all money. But yeah, let's get these signs out. Less Simon up there taking that down, because me and Simon are going to Costa, which is over there. My treat this time, large lattes and Rolo muffins, I think. Good view from up here, guys. The lettering's all off. Just wants that black stuff off now, black alley. Yeah, there was the totem pole we took down over there. But yeah, this stuff's it's just tech screwed on. It is tech screws. I mean, what I mean by tech screws is, swing here. Don't need to pile it all, go straight through metal. It like cuts a little hole in it. Yeah, that's a tech screw. I think now, we're just taking it off. There you have it guys, it is down. Now the plan is to move everything around the other side and we'll get a totem pulled down. There's a little tiny totem there we've got to take down, but that's it. So this one, we'll stick it on a time lapse and you can watch us do it. Get loaded up and get gone. Just them last few bits now. Tidy that up. And I believe that one there is coming out, and that's it. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, is it cold? I don't know if it's cold where Dad is. You saw his clips. I dare say it will be cold, but this is how cold it is in Nottingham. See this strap? <laughs> really push it down. Yeah, I'll get that. Crazy guys, absolutely crazy. It's minus three or minus four right now. Me and Nazdi's got this van to unload because we got back late yesterday from the job. Stacking it all nice and neat there. George's got a delivery on this. Me and Asner, uh, me and Charles are going to go and pick up our van because that's done on its MOT. Yeah, I need to unload this and hurry up and get warm. Let's get this gate installed then.
Put some lime sun chippings down for the customer. All of this will be changed. But it's always nice to put some fresh down, right? Now this customer never used this driveway. So she's going to use it as like a little patio bit now. Because you get a lot of sun in the afternoon right here. And when your garden finished there, but your sun's here. Because obviously you've been shaded over there with your fence. Nice to have this. But me and Asna, no rest for the wicked. We're off to go and do another one now. I think we're doing some post replacements because Amazon driver has bashed into them and broke them. So when we get there, we'll show you what we're doing. Change of plan, guys. Change of plan. The guys on that job, they're not quite ready for us. I don't think they knew we were coming today, so they're actually not in to let us into the back garden. So we can't do that, but I'm at the yard. We're going to do a different job. Let me just show you something pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What do you into these? Yeah? Do you like these? It was a bit tight on my head. That one's a bit too tight. The Velcro as well, so you can unloose them. I've just got one hand. Oh, this one's a bit tight as well. Squeeze that in. Every time you get a baseball cap, guys, don't have it straight. It's not a flat cap, it's a baseball cap. It's a bit tight on my head. Let me get it right and I'll show you. There we go, guys. Fits a lot better. Perfect for the summer coming. Got to look at my ear. Let's hide that receding valve. Lovely. All you got to do is comment down below to win yourself some of these. And if hats aren't your thing, you can have a beaner. So make sure you get involved in the competitions every time we do one. Not doing one this video, but we're going to do one next video. So yeah, you want a chance, you've got to comment. But you've also got to comment on the videos. Sort of regular. So you've just saw on screen, there's a bit of a burnt stuff here. So me and Asley just spent the next 10, 15 minutes digging three holes. We've got one there, we've got one there, and we've got one there. We need to get one here now. We're directly where this is. We need a hole right there, because that's where our post is going to be. We'll fill this in with a panel, because it's going to be camp rail. This is going to be camp rail. We all, oh, in fact, we've dug that hole as well, haven't we, Asley? Dug that one ready for a spur post. We? Well, you. This is going to be camp rail. See that? See it? I knew he was going to say that. There's no I in team, guys. You see when I'm doing all these bits and bobs, you know when I'm driving 45 minutes to the job and I say, yeah, we've made it to the job. I don't say, I made it to the job and he tagged along. <laughs> like, you got to be careful, you know, you got to be careful. <laughs> There's going to be camp rail there, gate there, gate here, camp rail there, tiny bit of camp rail there. This is staying, customer wants us to run off that to keep the cost down on this job because they don't really necessarily want to be spending on this one. This is what happened, yeah? Barrel in the garden, burning away, just burning bits and bobs. I'm not sure what it was, household stuff probably. Everything was fine when it was being burnt. Two days later, guys, apparently it's set back on fire. Of course, the embers and everything underneath, it, they stay on fire. So yeah, um, I might have mentioned this in the quote. I'm not sure if I've done this on a quote video. I can't remember, but I feel like I've said that before. Yeah, now we're here fixing this. So yeah, we're going to dig these holes. Don't want to show you that because it's just a bit boring. And then we'll catch back up. To be fair, guys, we've been busy. We've just not filmed much in all honesty on this one. It's because hands are absolutely freezing. We're just trying to get this one done. Um, we need the SDS, which we haven't got, because again, we're going to a different job, so that we just forgot that. We need the SDS and a 4 by 2 to go on the wall, the garage wall, same as how it was previously. You can sort of see where it was outlined there. So we need to do that. This gate is obviously going to go to sort of that height. The feather edge, that isn't going to be as tall as the gate because, again, it's dropping down. And yes, let me just show you. Well, this custom used to have the gate there and it was less of a step. Custom wants the gate there now and the gate's going to open out. It's going to open here and they are happy just to step in like that. Obviously, they've got steps in this garden, so they're not too fussed on it. So we're actually probably the same step as those steps there. I did say we can go back there, but custom said, no, let's go here now. Obviously, that gate is for the neighbour. That gate is six foot from there to there. Made sure it's private for them. Of course, when you're on this ground, you'll always be able to see a little bit more. It is what it is, guys. But yeah, we're gonna do some fur ridges. So then, we're in the bump. We're not far from the yard now. Just been to have a look at a job. We was a bit poor filming that last one. I'm not gonna lie, very poor. Supposed to be full-time YouTubers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it up to you tomorrow. 
with a lot more content. I can't remember if my dad's back tomorrow. I can't remember. I know me and asney has got a fencing job to finish, the one that you saw like 10 seconds of. So we'll sort that out. Have we got else? I, I think, think that's so. it, yeah. Um, we've got to put a couple gates on there, a bit, a few more feather edges. Need some seven foot, need a four by two on the wall. Need some seven foot feather edge for that. Uh, need to put the hinges on the front of this one because the customer was adamant of putting the gate like good say good good side matching but opening outwards and I don't really do that so I think I've got to put the hinges on the front of the gate so you know like with the bobbly side because on feather edge it overlaps vertilap you call it and they overlap each other so I've got to put the hinges on them I don't like doing it you can do it if I'm putting hinges on the front, I prefer to do it on tongue and groove gates, but it wouldn't be in match with this. This job is more about, obviously they've had a fire, they weren't expecting to spend money, so they wanted everything as cheap as possible. So that is literally what I based the quote on. Do it as cheap as possible, try and help them out. Asni's getting an achy arm because he's having to use his left hand to hold up his phone. No, the phone was shaking. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically they want it done as cheap as possible, so I'm doing the best I can for as cheap as possible. So rather than a tongue and groove with hinges on the front, I'm using feather edge still. I've just got to sort of overlap and sort of do it that way, guys. But we'll film much more tomorrow. I promise you that. Thank you for joining us as always. Like, comment and subscribe. Video is not over, but it is for the day. So we'll see you in the morning, guys. So good morning, guys. I said I was going to film a little bit more today and that is exactly what we're going to do. It is absolutely Baltic today. Pretty much as cold as yesterday. We've got Mandy's here getting some bits and bobs. We've got Jordan who's got Mandy's delivery on the 08. They're going to be meeting him there. It must be a big job. We've got Grab today. Dad is back. There's been a few people that saw Dad on those travels down to Plymouth. So big respect to everyone showing love to Dad. We do appreciate it, guys. Dad's coming in a little bit later today because I think he needs a tiny bit more rest because it must have been some long, long days, guys. All that driving. So big respect to all you drivers out there doing those long driving shifts. I know it's quite difficult and draining on the mind. Yep, George, just helping out. I need two granny doors, need one more, and then we need to go deliver them. And then we've got bag pickup, so it's going to be busy, busy, busy. We're starting a massive fencing job. Sunny's coming out to play, that's why the trailer's there. It's going to be busy. Boy, we've been busy, guys. We've got one more on, squeeze this bad boy on, then we need to go back to the yard, get rid of this, get rid of the bags. Now I've got one more grab to do, three to four tonne I've been told. Not sure if that's at work yet, but I know it's busy, busy, busy. So we're going to get that one on, we're going to get back to the yard with the tax back up. Good morning, a good morning, a good morning. <laughs> Last night was, oh, there's going to be bags on my eyes, I'm tired, I'm tired. I've come in a little bit later, we've moved jobs about, but yeah, I'm really tired. Wagon's still loaded up. Just had a slight problem with the trailer. Got a, I thought we had a ball bat. We haven't got a ball bat. We've got a wire, a brown wire. Isn't connected, so I'm hoping it's that. But yeah, we're gonna connect that up. Put the bulbs back in the trailer because I believe they were still all right. They looked all right. And then we'll get the digger on and go and take the hedge out. We have just done it. But Jordan just turned it off. He didn't give me a chance to video it. <laughs> but we fixed them up, we dude. They're all working now. He's got fog lights a lot. He's like a little mini disco now, aren't you, mate? Uh, we're not going to use them ramps, we're going to use my ramps. They're just starting to go a little bit, and I just don't trust them, so we're going to use my ramps. Well, they're, they're all my ramps, but obviously we're going to use the ramps we bought because they do take the weight of the digger. So we are all loaded. It's me, it's Mason, it's Jordan, and it's a big hedge to take out. But once we get there, guaranteed, We'll show you. I'm struggling today, guys. If my mood's a little bit off, it's because I'm tired. I'm really tired, really tired. Struggling a bit. But yeah, Sunny's on, trailer. A few bits of bobs on, not too much on the back. So yeah, let's get to the job. So here we have it, guys. What we are doing, we are ripping this hedge out all the way to that corner there. All this hedge here, this is all coming out. To there we're going to string a line up from that one back here and wherever panel finishes we're going to return just return there we've got another bit of fencing to do so this hedge here is coming out return here it's going to have a new gate 
this one's going to be a bit tricky. I'm not going to be able to get the sunny down there because I think the sunny's too wide. So what we're going to do, I brought some straps. I'm going to pull it from up there and see if we can just pull it out. It looks like it should come out. Fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx it. Then panels there are coming out. We're going to use two, two panels around there or three. There's going to be gates on here, I believe. We're doing the gates. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look on the quote, but I did quote the gates here. Do I have around the gates now? Or we're having that at a later date. But I think we are doing the gates. And the fencing we're doing, you see that over there, guys? That is composite fencing. So that's what we are doing. I believe it's grey. Is it grey? I might be wrong. Yeah. Grey on the side. So there are the panels underneath there. And they fit in our posts nice and snug so it's something a little bit different it's gonna be a good one i have got to cut them panels down because i think they're slightly bigger than six foot but i think first job is let's get that digger off so sally the sunny is off so yeah let's get this edge out so we'll take this first section out First section out. Landscaping rake's really, really good. It grabs it. Don't really need the thumb, but to get down there, I swapped it over just a bit too wide. Use a smaller bucket. But yeah, we'll get so far down and then we'll probably get it from the other side. that section done as far as I can get. I'm gonna go around the other side now. We're gonna move that trampoline and go around the other side and pull it out from the other side now. Definitely playing dead because look at it, it's moving. Well, I thought it was a tweak on me. But anyway, yeah, the edge is nearly out. I'm going to put this on that edge over there where, where it was. I've got that bit down there to do. And then the other side, and then we're done. We're out of here. And it's Stevie's turn. So, hello, guys. We have been busy. We've been grabbing. We've been fencing. We've actually got some fencing here. Hinges on the front of that one. Hinges not on the front of that one. On the back as a normal gate. Remember, guys, custom wanted hinges on the front of this one. So, we do what the customer asks. Let me just show you. This one's been hard. A little harder, guys. But, basically, right. Got a tall fence there. A like, fence is a gate. Tall gate. Done this one just a little bit shorter to bounce back down to this one. So, short, medium, tall. Matched all of this one together the reason we've done the camp rail that way is because it's the same on the opposite side so it matches better for the neighbor customer wanted to keep this keep all of this we've run off this again built the gate like that that's where i mentioned where you had to put the hinges over the front again i normally would like to do that with a tongue and groove but customer wanted to keep the cost down so that's exactly what we've done but yeah i'll show you from this side Nice new gate for this customer. Bit of camp rail to follow, following the drops. Camp railed all the way down. Camp rail the same. Span the gate how the gate should be. Hinges on this side. Locking bolt. Clappers so the gate can't push through. These clappers here, you put them there so the gate can't clap through and snap this. You don't want to be snapping this, guys, because if that can keep going, that's going to bend, snap, and then you're in trouble. We're coming here, guys. And then we come here. We've got camp rail, camp rail, gate, camp rail. Of course, we've put the lock 
up the opposite side for this customer. But yeah, it's been a pleasure having you join us, as always. Uh, I'm not filming too much today, but we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. We're about to go meet up with my dad now. I believe they're about to start fencing and that. I don't know if you saw any of dad's clips yet. I don't know if he's filmed anything. If he has, you're about to go see him now. Well, that's filmed. So, hello, guys. We are back. We're on this fencing job. You've just saw dad's clips. I can see he's got the tripod out. He must have filmed something. We've actually started the fence. As always, we've sort of got the first post in motion. Got the string line down, followed the boundary line all the way down to that hedge there. And going back to, as always, as we do it, me and Asna, we always get this first bait in. We've actually got Mason helping us now because he's done his raking. There's nothing he needs to do there. So this bay is going to be right there. And there we have it, guys. That is not too shabby. And this one has just appeared here. We're ready for an eight foot post. We didn't peel these ones off. It's a bit of a ball to get it off. So what we're doing, we're peeling them off where the post is going to go and then we can just rip them all the way off. But yeah, this is composite fencing, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Very much appreciate all the interactions. And this one is going to run all the way there and then all the way up there, I believe. So yeah, let's get this post in with these magic fingers. And there we have it. I can't remember if I was clicky finger in a post or this bay. I can't remember guys, but we're three deep. It's freezing, it's gone five. Catch you in the morning. I've been to tip off the strap on my TY. Jordan's just taking the straps off now. I've just pushed some green waste off the back of it. We're gonna push this off now. And then we're gonna go and get the digger and bring it back. Digger. After we just tip that off, it's me and Jordan. Jordan driver. It's nice to be chauffeured every now and again. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get this digger back on, brought back to the yard. Good morning. <clears throat> it is Thursday morning. And we're at the tarmac yard, but not for us. We're picking at some tarmac or well, 920 mil base for SBM servicing. So yeah, under the upper, raring to go. As soon as this song, get sheets off, drop it off, and then we'll start our day and do all our grab. All loaded up, all sheeted up. So let's get this tip. Fallen one too many times. Feeling like another ends back again, square one. Try to leave myself behind. Looking for a better place. So that one's all tipped and now we are going to Chilwell for Dean's Greens. We're a little bit behind on schedule, just fueled up in the petrol station. So hopefully we can catch up with our day and get these wraps up. So here's our next one. And we've tipped it. Yes, I forgot to do a click fingers again. And Mason has appeared and we're in the yard. Magic, eh? My magic fingers must be working better than everyone else's. Soil Bay is looking full. What Mason's doing, just picking some of them out, they do it with a little red, they push it up, roll it over, and pick the big bits out. And then we'll bring that land rate we bought, we'll sieve it out a bit better. But yeah, it needs to go back up there really, so we need to dig around here. But first, we're putting some limestone on the back, three tons of limestone, three ton bags of limestone on the back, and then we're on to our next one. So that one's all done now. Now, the final one is, no, it's not, not the final one, we've got two more. Two more, yeah. NLS and Lucas Gardens. So on to NLS. There we have it. Nice grab. Let's get on. Gain our trust and you chose to break it. As for truth, but you only fake it. Thought you said what we had was sacred. It's all lies. All lies. I was broken and isolated. But inside held the fire waiting. There we have it. Nice and clean. On to the next. Last one of the day, three more live soon, and I believe it's two bags to pick up. Tip that back in the yard, it's gonna mix it in with that heat down there. But yeah, last one of the day, it's starting to get dark. Let's get it done. Here we are on the last one, it's Lucas. <laughs> so, all the doing is replacing limestone for limestone, so all that limestone's got grass and soil in, just putting fresh stuff down. 
this revamp in the front of this house. That's our last one. So they're just raking it out now. Finn's just taking the chains off, put the lights on for him. Because it is getting dark. Yeah. Get out of here, leave these boys to it, and take that back. So back at the yard, Steve's just back in Big Red in. So I believe it's another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. So good morning guys and welcome back to another day at d &J. It's me and Asnet on this fine, fine but frosty day. Just said to Asnet, this ground is going to be solid. Absolutely solid. We've got a coffee, so we're going to have this coffee. I dare say the customers, well it's a tea actually, we don't drink coffee like that. The not instant coffee, it's only Costa coffees, ain't it mate? God, we've, mate. we've got high standards. <laughs> um, but these customers, I dare say, they are going to look after us practically spoiled rhyme because they were looking after us non-stop yesterday. <laughs> Drinks, left, right, center, chocolates, Copperbergs at the end of the day to take home and have a drink after a good shift. Some of the best customers had, and I can say that hand on heart. Sometimes you just get looked after probably too much. You don't have to. I keep telling them, look, you don't have to. It's, you're doing too much for us, but uh, we appreciate it nonetheless. Fencing just there in the background. Can you see it, guys? We're not gonna, uh, what's the word? We're not gonna strip back those things that are on the panels right now what we're going to do we're going to hose pipe it at the end um and it gets more fees now so my dad said anyway but yeah we're going to continue down there so let's get all the tools and get cracked on Yeah, look at that, and it's got... Yeah? Yeah. Before we get too excited, and you see what I mean? Yeah, because I Yeah, up that end. Yeah, up that end, smidgen up this end. Let's take two off, because it's it's worth it, ain't it? Oh, thank you, mate. Oh, we do, yes. Oh, we do. Yeah. Probably closer, that is. Oh, yeah. Gravity. See how gravel, anyway. Back to our time-lapse, guys. Let's go this far, but here we are, the end. Now you're just a lesson learned. A slowly fading memory, so I can... After a mess around with gravels, we've managed to get it right, guys. Not too shabby. Post time. Again. Gain our trust and you chose to break it. Ask for truth, but you only fake it. Thought you said what we had was sacred. It's a lie. I was broken and isolated But inside held the fire waiting Not a word that you say can save us So don't cry Cause this time So it's definitely taking longer than normal Using this product But it does look good It's a little green at the minute Because it's still got the stuff on We're going to wet them like I said But yeah Happy with this one so far guys We'll just keep going We've got another six footer Somewhere here Spoke to the customer We're going to have a smaller bay and then probably a smaller bay here because later on we're going to start at the top of the hill work our way down like we always say start from the top makes it easier to get your levels drop 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 where it gets to level sort of naturally level it across guys yes look on that table there customer is looking after us have a look at this oh, I didn't know I had to do a egg. oh look at this guys oh you've looked after us too well two of these bad boys each we love this game
so then guys that's our favorite saying we always say so then guys uh yeah we're at the top of the garden now put a corner post in down there that's that same height as the fencing we're going to put a normal post in here i was going to say normal post in here and then we're going to run this down this is going to be six foot tall then it's going to drop down six foot drop down six foot so everything's going to be six foot tall customer wants it at six foot tall here well, to, to be fair he said it's not too fast but in keeping with the matching it's going to be six foot if it was on the front there wouldn't recommend a six foot but down this side here because it's going down the side happy with six foot if you look over there at the gravels you've got a shorter fence and then when it gets to the side we go back to around about six foot so i'm happy for six foot to go here anthony's just took the concrete out from the old boundary post we've got a few boundary posts to get out there but we're going to dig this hole and then probably dig a bit of a trench dig the next hole and we'll catch up once this one is in guys because as it's a fresh start again you know what we like to do get our first bay in get concentrated and get cracked on Wondering how to make a play all night Thinking your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy and so hard to ignore Pull up on your right, that's what you're drinking as... You could probably see on the time lapse We struggled a little bit with that We struggled a bit um, For some reason, could not get the line right But, happens to the best of us guys Happens to the best of us We're going to take that out And we're going to take that out So we've got a bit more of a clean run and I think it's coming up to lunchtime. I think we're going to have a jacket potato from the cob van sort of thing. I don't know what you call them, cob van. But you can see the string line, you can see the posts lining up absolutely perfectly. If you, if you have a look at the, the middle line of the post, it runs up straight and then straight into the next one. That's what I like to see. So yeah, we're going to get these posts out right now with the magic fingers. Let me get them both in shot. You've got one, you've got two. We're going to get them out with these bad boys. And there we go, they're out guys. They were out probably half an hour ago. We've actually just gone to grab some to eat, we've had some to eat. Now we're gonna get another bay there. Oh, there, with these magic fingers. And there's another one. Not too shabby. Big drop to smaller drops. They're gonna start leveling themselves out a little bit. I think they'll start slightly dropping down, matching onto that post over there. Big Gazan is getting the retainer out because we're putting a new retainer in with gravel boards. But look at this, guys. Oh, we're meant to get anything done. We've got the Jaffers. Oh my God. These are some of my favorites. But we keep cracking on. We love this game, remember? You probably saw us battling on that time lapse. Who buries this sort of stuff in the ground? We think it's an old roof rack of some sort. What's the chances of that being in our way? And we don't use a steel saw and stuff like this because a steel saw hasn't got that sort of blade on. It's got like a concrete blade, English concrete blade sort of stuff. Customer's got a grinder, but thought it's not a drain or anything. We'll get it out way, and of course, then we'll make right for next door. But yeah, back to the fencing because 1541, and we want to get all the way down there, and we've got around about 40 minutes. So let's chat. Let's get it done.
So we're pretty much done guys. Have a look at the line of this. I know you say, don't blow your own trumpet. Oh my God. We're pretty good at what we do. And that's near. It's another day. Can you see that? At D&J. It is. What happens when it's another day at D&J? What's the next bit? See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good morning. It is a Friday morning. We've made it to Friday guys. I am absolutely shattered. I'm ready for the weekend. But I do believe me, Stevie, and Jordan Ward have got some training to do on Saturday. So just have to get up. So my lion's going to be on a Sunday. A couple of parcels to open. Let's just show you. There we go, guys. I'll put that there. Quick read. And what these are, these are cup holders. So I definitely need one in the Santa. And if I'll hold one and dump it, we'll get a try. If not, Mighty White does need a cup holder because the cup holders in Mighty White, in fact, I'll show you in a bit, aren't big enough. So yeah, thank you very much, Robert Fuller. And this one is for Jordan. So when Jordan's in tomorrow, we'll get him to open that. You'll probably see that on a Wednesday video, or you might even see it in this video. So just stay tuned, keep your eye out for that one. It is a cold one this morning. The lads covered the ballast up. Is that ballast all right? It's usable, it's usable. A bit hard in this weather to keep the ballast from not freezing. Steve's gonna take Big Red out in a minute, move that out of the way, so we can get our two ballasts. We've got five cement, we've got some granny dust. We've got some bad collections to pick up. We have got plenty to do today. I know for a fact the swans aren't going to be here, but let's have a look at No swans. Oh, what was that? Little moran? Little moran's just landed near the nest. Lean's quite low today. First job, two bags just there. These builders are just going to move their van and we'll pull up there. That's our first one on Ungog. On to the neck. So now it's the ballast and the cement gonna put it down there it's for our good friend Jack Fleetman. Let's get there. Bit of a weird one, dropped it on top of the skip block. Said they're not gonna use all of it, there might be a little bit left. So instead of shoving it back into the skip, put it there. So yeah, on to the next. Another bag pick up for our good friends Lucky and Adam. Let's get it on. So that one's done for our good friends Lucky. Oh you got the wife food? Yep. You on the wife food dog? Yep. Is that Check this man out. Is that nu nutriments? No, it's ain't wife. They don't realise they're meal replacements, but the lad must burn it off so it feels like he needs it. Um, warming my porridge up. Porridge? Warming my porridge up on the uh, dash. It's about ready, that is. Nice and warm. So I'll have that on the next stop. And we'll take a 15 minute break. But yeah, our next one is BP paving. Two bag pickup. So let's get that on. There was two bags down there. You need to catch up with the lads at BP paving to see where they went. But they ended up on here. Down to the next. Last pack of Alice, all dropped off. So back to the yard now, get unloaded. And then we've got to grab a soil to do. The back of the yard now, just going to unload all this and then straight back out again. So let's get unloaded and let's get gone. So we are back on this job. A little bit more. What I said to the customer would weigh it because he asked for a big red and we'll see if it is a big red or mighty white load when it's all on. So let's get it on. Somebody like me. There we go, all nice and clean. You won't believe that, that was 10 tonne exactly. I never would have believed that. So yeah, it's paid for the small grab. So yes guys, we are back. We're back to do a little tiny piece of footing today for a porch for James, uh, one of our avid subscribers. Yes, the fencing is still standing and looking really, really nice. So what we're doing, we're putting two little footings down there so we can have a lovely porch put on this front of this property. And what we're gonna do, we can take long for the ride. Let me go, there's 
there's no doubt it gotta get out of this small town you took my heart from me now you're everywhere i see set me free let me fly let me find new kinds of highs we're just wasting here waiting for another so we're into it. Don't worry about that. That part's redundant. That's like a soak away part. It's perforated. So nothing to do with us now. I think we disconnected it when we did this bit over here. Can we see it again over here? No, it's not over here. I don't know why it is, but it's perforated. It's redundant. So what the plan is, we're using the 300 bucket. We're going to step it 25 mil, come out a meter, go down to solid ground, and that's one done. Same again with the other 25 in a straight line, meter, Probably going to be about 500 deep. If I remember right, it was clay over there. Just there, look, on the, on that. What are you laughing for, mate? Huh? What are you laughing for? Oh, You're going to have a bad job you are next week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was clay down here for what could we run. But yeah, there's that. Perfect pipe. You can just see it there, look. So it's like a land drain. But we don't need them no more. So yeah, let's get this bit done. So that's our first one done. What the lads are doing now, just cleaning the sides and the bottom out. But yeah, just two little tiny footings just to support the porch. Got a nice oak porch on that, it's gonna look lovely. So the next thing was going is that greenhouse. The lads are having all the scrap. What did they do with the scrap? All new subscribers, what did they do? Save it all the way up throughout the year and then we share it out at Christmas. We drink out of the scrap money, but we collect and find them throughout the jobs. But yeah, I'm gonna crush this up with a digger, get it on the van. You took my heart, it's already broken You don't have to wait I can take the pain I will surrender, let me go On a new adventure So this job is complete Nicely bottomed out Two little footings, 1.2 out Worked out about 500 deep and 300 wide And all the scraps gone so we'll get the scrap weighed in and I'll tell you how much the lad's got. So it might be a little bit noisy, eh? but the scrap, you won't believe this, the lad's got £172.60. Damn! So £172.60 for their kitter, just for collecting a bit of scrap around James's. So James, I know you watch the videos, thank you very much, the lad's well chuffed. A lot more than what I thought. But what I'm going to do now, we're just going to, where we dropped them bags earlier, I'm just going to push the heap up with this and riddle it out with a bucket. But yeah, Stevie should be on his way back and then we'll catch up and close the video off, I think. So yeah, see you soon. So we've been busy. Gravel boards in there, matching, ready for boards. I think Dad's cutting them with a chop saw. And then we come over here, gravel board, obviously post on the wall. We show everything on this channel. This gravel board is chipped off on the end. Now, if I was putting a timber panel on here, that would be getting changed straight away. But these boards sit over this whole lip. So you're not gonna see any of that. This was timber, please believe that would be getting changed. And I'm showing you because we show everything on this channel. We're also happy with this line as well, guys. So as you saw, we've took the panels out, gonna reuse them on the front, I believe. Almost set going in here. We've worked out that the gravel boards, well, these composite panels, they're not quite five foot, so what you have to do, we've been measuring 59 and a half to the shoulder, and then maybe a smidgen of a tap down, and they're working right. So that gravel board's got to come up an inch and a bit, a little bit, a little bit. But first, customers have been busy, haven't they, mate? Oh, yeah, they look after us too much. Too much over here. Let's see what we've got. Caramel lattes, we've got real cutlery. We've got a bloody breakfast tray. Oh my God, yeah, buddy. I'm sorry for the other lads, mate. My dad's missing out. On the new So you've just saw me and Asna get those boards in. First two, piece of cake, yeah? Last oh, one, yeah. Oof, tough. Post must have been skinny, so it was hard to get the 
what, what, what do you call them? Composite boards in, yeah, hard to get them in. But it's this hedge now, all of that there, and then a little bit, uh, the gate, I believe there's a new gate going here as well. I'm assuming this fence on a side, because it's a side, is going to be six foot. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out off the customer what they want to do. We'll get this out. If it was tough, that does. Digger's on its way. Going to jump on digger, rip that out. Any virgin cables, mate? Uh, we've just got this virgin street light. Street light. They should be running up, really. Got a drainage over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, big drain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's gonna run it. Probably back up as well. Uh, we've got a virgin box down there. Can't see no cables. I can see them actually wrapping around that way. Actually, look, tied to the house, they're wrapping that way. So we might be in luck on this one. Let me go. It's my time. Watch me build another life. Find another space. Explore the world and find my place. Hope you find some peace of mind. Hope the night was worth your time. Through my heart. You took my heart, it's already broken You don't have to wait I can take the pain So then, got that hedge out I see in the comments you want to see me on the digger So I've had to go on the digger That's obviously out, busy I, don't, I think you would have probably saw this clip first, to be fair You'll see these towards the end of the video Yeah, got that out as you can see right now, big wide opening. Gonna have a bigger gate here, four foot gate. I'm gonna have six foot fencing running down the side, then it's gonna slope down and it's gonna be a four foot bay and a four foot gate right there. This edge is obviously staying. But yeah, just leveled this out a bit so we can actually have a pretty decent level for the gravel boards and the fencing. Dig a channel on our way down towards the gate. First hole's getting dug, pretty much is dug. Let's get it. These are the panels that customer had in the other side of the garden. Of course, you saw us change those for composite. So these panels are going here now. It's going to be full size, full size somewhere here. And then we'll see what that is. Because that might be a seven, might be a six. We'll see, but because we're using timber, we can use sevens now. Okay. So yeah, we'll get this one in. We'll time lapse this one and we'll see what we're doing with this one. So then guys, I said I was going to do a time lapse for this one, but lad smashed this as I went and got some lunch from around the corner. We had jacket potatoes again, very nice. Mason's actually had his fat Friday that I owed him now, so he had chilli con carne in a jacket. So you happy now, aren't you, mate? I am. He's nice, happy. Uh, oh, look what I found. <laughs> what do you find? Oh, yeah. We love a gas pipe. So we'll be moving this way ever so slightly. Just digging two holes here for a post for the gate this one's in sitting pretty four foot tall gate won't be hung off this one it's going to be hung off this one it's going to be a timber and a concrete one there so then guys we have been busy obviously you saw this you've not saw this locked it in plan must have good side facing in all on everything so everything literally gravel boards that are facing out they've come in everything panel panel sloper gate tongue and groove gate this one let's have a look and walk around and see what we've done well first Let's have a remind of ourselves what this garden was looking like. I turned up real late when my dad and the lads had already pulled out pretty much all of this hedge. So I've not actually saw what this was looking like yet. I'm going to see it. It's going to be on screen right now. Let's have a look. And now guys, it is looking like this. Not quite complete. Going to be complete next week. Well, it's end of week, so it's looking like this, guys. That's going to be changed to composite. And I've remember, guys, customers on this one. Good job as well. Couple panels to get cut down and slid in there as well for next week. 
Looks like customers been busy as well. A little bit of raking. And they've actually took off all of the plastics, look. The plastics are gone. Off all of them. What about around here? Oh, yeah. Looking good. What about this side? Oh, yeah. Looking very good, guys. So then, guys, I just want to give a massive, massive, and I mean massive, shout out to the customers on the composite fencing for looking after us as much as they have this week. Of course, they know that they didn't have to. I believe they haven't done it just for YouTube. I believe they're just genuine and nice people that have decided to look after the workers who are doing work on their job. So, massive, massive shout out to you guys. Thank you for looking after us. Really does mean the world to us. So I just want to say a big thank you to you. But yeah, we're back in the yard. Van's unloaded. Dad's up there on the sunner. He's got his new bucket on. Let's have a look. I don't know if he's been filming it, so I don't know if you've already saw this, but it's like Inception. Let's have a look. Looks like the boys have been busy. If it's dry tomorrow, screen is probably coming on because we're not open on Saturdays, but I believe there's probably a couple of us coming in. And then my dad is, I'm gonna come in. I think Asley might be coming in as well. I'm not sure where he is, but it looks like there's some good soil to be screened here. So maybe that's the plan. Oh, I know dad's got radio on. I can hear it in the sun. It's actually darker right now and then my phone is making it look, which is a good thing for filming, I guess. But yeah, you can see lads putting their sort of rubbish into the hopper. Finn will take that round to the rubbish pile and he'll tip that. And then we will have to bring the grabs in. And of course we've been reversing in just in case anyone's throwing stones at the grabs. But a bit of a pile here, a little red, he's probably gonna get some action tomorrow. Pretty cool. We love this game. So dad's got his new bucket on look. He's just shown me a bit of a demonstration actually of picking it up, giving it a shake. It's a bit wet that is, hang on. Yeah, let's get a proper bit. Dad's been sorting it out, as you can see, guys, because we're doing some screening tomorrow. Get rid of the bricks, look, chuck it, so you've got your soil. Yeah, of course, what size do you reckon that is? Four inches, four inch gap, 100 mil. So anything smaller than four inch, of course, is gonna fall through. But it gets rid of the rubbish. That's what we like. Gonna prep up for tomorrow. So definitely screening tomorrow. It's going to be Dad, it's going to be me, and it's going to be Asne. I know he's three of us. Was was grab training, but that's been cancelled now because he's got COVID. But it is what it is. Yeah, need to get a trailer around the front. So I'm going to do that while Asne sorts that out. So let me get to it. Before we do though, let's see the sunny in action. Oh, I'm not gonna lie guys, it looks steep. It is absolutely pitch black out here. Even the lights are on. But my phone is doing a cracking job of this. Skills to pay the bills. Impressed with that, quite like that bucket. Lads are just putting the last bits in. Last one thing, yeah? Last one, yeah? Last one. Oh, yeah, he's got I thought he was going to turn that because it was looking a bit suspicious over here. for you this guys I know you all love the sun eh? wonder how I'll be filling up the screen tomorrow with the sun eh? or uh, with the grabs I'm not sure but he's down anyway so let's get that trailer around finish our day finish this video you in your hot blood mate huh? hot blood yeah, I've warmed up all day. Warmed up all day? That's because you've been busy, haven't you, mate? Yeah, running around like a headless chicken. Smashing it. 
Smashing it. Oh, and by the way, he's had his Fat Friday. Fine, so I don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I need to get that trailer because it's coming up five to five. And we've got gym, guys. So then, guys, everything is away. More toys, more gadgets. Pretty cool. Don't know where they're from. I'm assuming Dad's filmed them. Maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. If not, you'll find out on Wednesday why we've got them, if he has or if he hasn't. But yeah, I think that is coming up to the end of the video. It's been a productive week. It don't seem this week that Dad went to Plymouth, but he has. I've seen the footage, I've edited the footage. It's been... Yeah, that is Jordan's new mansion, right there. It's Jordan's ass. Bit big, he's gone for a big one. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, pretty much end of video, guys. It's been a really, really interesting week. Like, like Stevie just said, we have been to Plymouth. Stevie has done a really interesting fencing job and he's completed some gates as well. The lad's absolutely smashed it this week. I'm really, really proud of him. And as mentioned, £172.60 for that scrap. It was well worth going around his garden and picking it up. The lads are well chuffed for that. So thank you very much, James, for supplying the lads with that scrap. But with that said, it's another week at D&J. We'll see you in the next one, guys. <laughs>